Hello loves, welcome back. For today's sketchbook page I decided to do something you'll know I love doing if you've seen my travel journals. Um, sometimes it's just really nice to record your memories in a visual way, mixed photos and drawings and souvenirs. This page is for the little weekend trip I took, you might remember me talking about just before Christmas. So I started out by cutting a couple of squares of black card just to break up the page a bit. I don't mind a pure white page but for this one I wanted a lot of contrast. Um, I started trying a few ideas for layouts, just putting the bigger elements onto the page first, so a train ticket and a couple of photos. I print the photos on my regular printer, I print them onto sticky photo paper which really isn't necessary, it's just the only photo paper I have at the moment. And once I was happy with the layout of things I stuck them down. I like to put the big bits on first and fit the rest around them. So the first picture is of the lovely sunset through the trees and the second picture is of the fireplace in the house, a really nice big log burner with a couple of stockings hanging up above it and a game of twister going on in the bottom corner so you can tell it was just a proper cosy slumber party, girls weekend away. I stuck my favourite matte black washi tape underneath to give room to write a description for the photos and then I started really lightly blocking out different areas across the pages where I would focus my writing. I tend to write in a couple of different sizes to give emphasis to certain things so larger text is represented with a box and smaller more detailed descriptions and things I draw in as lines. But it's all very quick and light and loose, none of it is set in stone. So next I really quickly laid out a sketch of the building itself that I really wanted to include. It's a friend's family's house out in a more rural area of England. We've been going out there for little getaways for years and years. It's just the perfect secluded escape into nature, especially for us city girls. It's always amazing to see how many stars there are once you're away from all the light pollution. And you know, putting on wellies to go out and chop firewood, it's pretty idyllic. And the house itself is a stunning, centuries old building. It's even got its own little clock tower, which maybe I'm easily impressed, but I think that's quite cool. As you can tell, I don't spend too much time or put too much detail into this or any of my art journal pages, really. I like to keep it nice and natural. If I put too much thought into it, I kind of lose the authenticity of those moments. So once I'm done with the drawing, I start adding text. I generally follow this order of doing things. It's easier to squeeze your writing in somewhere rather than trying to cram your photos and drawings around your text. And I keep the text minimal, just focusing on the highlights and things that will remind me of the mood of the trip. So next to the train ticket, I wrote down how we missed our stop because we were too busy drinking Prosecco, which kind of set the tone for the really silly, playful weekend. And then I wrote in a title bold enough to just summarise the page if it's something that I'm going to just look back on in passing and then I used the black box to go into more detail about who the trip was with, I think that's quite important as well. And then it was just a case of adding a few little extras on the page, a caption for the photo and some writing about what we got up to. I wrote about how all we did was eat and listen to good music and watch old films and eat more. And then because I felt like the page was feeling a bit bare I added some ink details just to give it a bit of panache. And that's that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're ever lacking in ideas for a sketchbook page, why not write about a trip that you took or even just what you did on the weekend? Thanks so much for watching guys. Oh, and happy Valentine's Day. If nothing else today, don't forget to give yourself a bit of love and appreciation for being so great. I will see you all next time. Bye.